Hello everyone, welcome to today's session on how to create MATLAB games in Python. Today in this session you will learn how to create a MATLAB games from scratch in Python. So let's get started. But before we go ahead, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, if you are interested for data science and Python certification online, please check out the link given in the description down below. So let's move on to our agenda for today. We see what is the MATLAB games. Also, we see some hands-on creating of MATLAB games in Python, and we'll see how to play the MATLAB games. So let's dive right into it, guys. So firstly, we see what is the MATLAB games. So guys, MATLAB is a word game where one player prompts another for a list of words to substitute for blank in story. These word substitution have a humorous effect when the resulting story is read aloud. Also, it is played as a casual pastime or potty games. So let's move on. Then we see some hands-on creation of MATLAB games in Python. So guys, under this, here firstly we are asked to give random inputs for the designated type of speech. Without you knowing what the story is, you'll simply write your desired inputs. The inputs which are entered by the user will be substitution for the blanks in the story. Also, once you have finished with the input fields, the program will return the story automatically sounding funny for the input provided by you. This is how you are creating a MATLAB game. Next, we see how to play the MATLAB games. So here, guys, we learn how to play the game. So firstly, we'll be asked questions randomly for which we have to input answers. Suppose the question is, what's your pet name? And your input is Bruno. So then you will be taken to the next question. Suppose, what is your friend's name? Where you input Peter. Then another question, like what is your name? And then for that, you enter Dustin. So guys, here after all the inputs have been answered, the MATLAB game is getting prepared. So here we can see that the blanks provided in the MATLAB games gets completed by your inputs. So we read it as, today every student has a computer small enough to fit to his Bruno. He can solve any maths problem by simply pushing computer's little Peter. Computer can add, subtract, multiply, and Dustin. They can also be better than a human being. So guys, we see that the MATLAB is complete upon the input given by you. So this is how we play a MATLAB game. So let's code it for Python, shall we? So guys, I use the Visual Studio Code Editor for the designing of Python programming. So let's dive right into it. Now moving on to the coding aspect, we import some libraries for Python. So firstly, I'd like to import flowdiv which is the resulting of two input variables as a result of division. So here we specify from AST import, which imports your library, flow diff. Here we see as an option. Next, we import a random variable, which selects randomly strings, characters, etc. for your input. Random import random. So guys, random is the library which imports the random variable. Rand int. Next, we import copy so guys what this does is it copies the matlab game altogether with the input so after this we design the matlab games by welcoming the user to the matlab games inside the brackets we specify so we make use of the print function and inside the bracket we specify welcome to the matlab games Next, we design the input set for the user where he has an option to choose to play or not. For that, we take the variable as playing. Under this, we input let's play, shall we? We give backspace and so that there are spaces in between. So after this, we make use of the if else statement for the random input of yes or no from the user. So we write as if playing dot lower so guys the lower function specifies for the lower case letters so here we specified quit so as if the player presses no it has to be quit so once the user has decided to play so we choose print okay let's play for the confirmation of playing the game okay let's play the game so guys, after this, we take inputs from the user by variable storing the user input. So for that, we make use of the variables as down one. Here we take the input function to receive input from the user as enter your name. Noun two, we take noun two 
as enter your friend's name. Your friend's name. Next, we take another noun as noun 3 and we make use of the same input function. We ask enter another friend's name. So, as for the user to enter another name, now we make use of some other variables such as place for the user to input place name. Enter a place name so that the user enters a place name. Next, we make use of adjectives. We call it adjective one for the user to enter an adjective. We specify enter an adjective. Next, another adjective. Once more, another adjective. After this, we make use of the adverb variable. We call it adverb one. Here we take input from the user for adverbs. We call adverb two. And at last, we call exclamation for the user to enter exclamation. On the input side, we ask the user to make it simpler as an emotion. We ask the user to enter an emotion. So now we have taken all the inputs from the user. Let's design the story for the Matlibs. Here under comments, to make it convenient, we write print story under the hashtag for comments. Within that, we call a variable story. And under the brackets, we print our story. Or we can simply call a print function. Under this, we can type our story. So the story goes like, one day, we make use of a tab space so that there is a space for the blank we can see for the MATLAB for the user input. We call the first noun, noun one, which is the input given by the user for the name, went to place one. This is our second variable for which we call from the user place on the next line we continue the story as he felt very lonely even though the view was the view was we call the adjective one here next another line we add as he decided to call his two best friends now we make use of the noun 2 and noun 3 for calling them noun 2 we separate the variable from the concatenation. This concatenation allows to call for the variable along with providing space. And noun three. Now moving on to the next line, we add up. When they came, they told noun one something. Now we call for the adjective two, and then we add had happened. Next, moving on, noun one, we add the statement went there very. Now we call for the adverb, adverb one, moving on, adding the next sentence, we write. When he came, it's a complete sentence. He found out that his other friend was falling off a cliff. So, noun one said, now we call for an exclamation, which is an expression. So, we add now inside. He was feeling. Now we call for an adjective. Once again, we call for a noun one. Managed to save him. Then at last, after that, they had a. Now we call for adverb two. Celebration. They all laughed. So guys, this is the completion for the Madlib story. Now we see for any errors. 
So guys, after all of this, now we execute the MATLAB games. So here I open a new terminal in order to demonstrate. Here I make sure to use a CMD for running. You can also make use of PowerShell. So here I specify a command called Python and my name of the file is hello.py. So I call it hello.py. So once I press enter, it asks me, welcome to the MATLAB games. Let's start, shall we? So here I input yes under the lower caps. Once I press yes, so here I'm supposed to enter my name. So I call it Avinash, enter, enter your friend's name. I call it Dustin, enter another friend's name. I call it Peter, and then enter a place name. Then I call this place as garden. Enter an adjective. For adjective, I specify um, what you can tell. Beautiful. Enter another adjective. I'll specify ugly. Now it asks for another adjective for which I specify dark. Now we are supposed to enter an adverb for which I specify surprisingly. Another adjective for which I enter overwhelming. Now it asks me at last for entering an emotion, so which I can give as hurrah. After I hit enter, now I can see that the mad live of my story is complete. So here I can read it out for the entire. One day Avinash went to garden. He felt very lonely, even though the view was beautiful. He decided to call his two best friends, Dustin and Peter. When they came, they told Avinash something ugly had happened. Avinash went there very surprisingly. When he came, he found out that his other friend was falling off the cliff. Avinash managed to save him. After that, they had an overwhelming celebration. They all laughed. This is how the MATLAB games is implemented. This is under Python. So guys, if you like the video, please press the thumbs up and press the bell icon to stay notified for further updates on the Python programming. So thank you. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!